to channel called this Doc Sarge Peranza and welcome to my math videos. This is a YouTube channel. And for today, we're going to be working on a lesson on statistics, specifically sa continuous random variable. So sa continuous random variable, meron tayong tinatawag na normal distribution at meron din tayong uniform distribution. And for today, we're going to be working on uniform distribution or answering probability involving uniform distribution. So sa problem natin na to, the waiting times between a subway departure schedule and the arrival of a passenger are uniformly distributed between 0 minutes all the way to 7 minutes. Now, we need to find the probability that a randomly selected passenger has a waiting time that is greater than 5.25 minutes. So, in this case, kailangan muna natin isulat yung ating probability notation, which is P of greater than 5.25 minutes. At yun yung hahanapin natin. At tulad ng uh, pagsagot ng mga continuous or ng uh, normal probability distribution, kailangan natin ng visual. At sa visual na ito, since yung ating... Uh, distribution ay sinasabing uniformly distributed, yung ating distribution will resemble a rectangle. So, yung ating visual dito, yung ating uh, y-axis at yung ating x-axis, yung ating x-axis would be yung time in minutes at yung ating uh, um, vertical axis, yun yung ating hahanapin later on. So, sa pag-visualize uh, nito, so 7 minutes, so hahatiin natin siya in equal parts. So, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, up until 2, up until 7 minutes. So, after natin makuha yung visual natin, kailangan natin hanapin yung height ng ating distribution. Kasi yung ating vertical distribution or yung ver vertical partition is equally distributed, kailangan na lang natin hanapin yung height ng ating um, distribution. And to do that, since it resembles a rectangle, hahanapin o gagamitin natin yung ating lesson on geometry and lesson in algebra para makuha natin yung height ng ating distribution. So yung ating area, since ito ay probability distribution, it's always going to be equal to 100% or 1. So yung area natin doon sa buong rectangle will equal to 1. At alam natin yung measurement ng ating width, which is or length ng ating rectangle which is equal to 7 or 7 units. So, ang formula ng area of a rectangle is A equals length times height. At since kailangan natin kunin yung height, gagamitan natin siya ng algebra dahil yung area natin is equal to 1 at yung ating length is equal to 7. So, 1 equals 7 times the height to use algebra, divide both sides by 7, and your height is equal to 1 over 7, or in decimal form, it's 0.14. So, 0.14 yung height ng ating uh, um, distribution, at meron tayong length na 7 minutes. So, now that we have our visual, yung kukunin naman natin ngayon is yung formula kung paano natin kukunin yung ating uh, probability of greater than 5.25, which is given by length of shaded region multiplied by the height of the shaded region. At yung shaded region natin, yun yung greater than 5.25. So since meron tayong visual, 5.25 is magsa-start kayo sa 5.25, so patansyahin nyo lang. And then, yung all the way to 7 minutes, kasi greater than 5.25. And then, isha-shade nyo yung region na yun, kasi yun yung probability na hahanapin natin. And to be able to do that, gagamitin natin yung formula. So, para mahanap natin yung area ng shaded region, so yung kabuuan is 7, yung ating uh, shaded region ay nag-start sa 5.25, so isa-subtract lang natin siya, which will give us 1.75, multiplied by the height, which is 0.14 and yung ating value is 0 0.245. So yan yung area ng shaded region at yan yung probability na hinahanap natin. So the probability that a randomly selected passenger has a waiting time that is greater than 5.25 minutes is about 24.5%. At yan yung idea ng pagsagot ng uniform distribution. Kailangan nyo ng algebra, kailangan na ng geometry, at kailangan nyo makita at malaman yung visual associated with the word problem. At yung mga areas sa ating shaded region could be dun sa end point ng ating rectangle, to the left or to the right, or pwede din in between. And the concept will still be the same. Kailangan nyo ng visual at kailangan nyo kunin yung area ng shaded region. So this is Dr. Spronza and this is my math lesson on statistics. Bye!
mag apply talaga yung uniform distribution kasi especially sa Japan <sighs> Ano na naman yun? Ako yung nagawa, ako yung nagawa video? Eh!